Record Store Day has got people thinking about record shops again and, and going into them rather than just going on the internet and it's made them connect with music a bit more. Also increased people's awareness of record shops still being around and still being you know, a, a viable option to, to get your music from. It was a fantastic idea started by a guy in an indie shop in San Francisco who realised that if we didn't watch it, indie stores were going to be just completely obliterated. The record companies weren't remotely interested in them. Um, uh, sales of, of vinyl was, was going down and down and down. CDs even started to go down. Uh, and if we didn't watch it, we would be annihilated. So he came up with this idea, which is what Record Store Day consists of, which is of, of record companies producing exciting limited editions, but really limited, um, available only on one day in independent shops, um, one day of the year, to get people to actually come and buy physical products in independent stores, that's what it was about. MP3s being the big thing now, people don't tend to buy physical formats anymore as much as they used to do, but also how quickly people can get things on the internet now and they can order things online and they don't have to bother leaving their houses. This year, 2013, has fulfilled its role more than ever. This is now the biggest thing in the record, in, in the music calendar, annual calendar, is you know, in some ways, for uh, well, for us it is, but in, in a lot of ways it's bigger than the Brits, you know, Record Store Day. Because in the Brits you've got one award ceremony and people watch it on TV. Here you've got, you know, live music, people coming into shops it, nationwide. It's a fabulous, fabulous phenomenon. And not only were people coming in, the great thing about this year was not only were people coming in, um, queuing up and buying the limited edition stuff, but they were actually coming in the shop talking to the people about music, buying the back catalogue, you know, and that's the first time that's happened. Usually it's just a queue and they just wait for the, you know, limiteds. So that was great. And the weather was so good this year. And we thought to ourselves, well, you know, this is so, so good this year. How the heck are we going to top this next year? So we're busy thinking how we're going to do that. It's part of like a modern culture thing, so people can't be bothered to rifle through uh, stacks of records and things anymore. So. It's just nicer overall, it's it's better sound, um, it's it's bigger, it's it's more real. Seeing a record being played on a little record player uh, in someone's uh, bedroom or uh, maybe in the sitting room when you go around to uh, you know friends' houses and uh, they'd have a record player and they'd have a record and they'd put it on the record player and you'd watch it actually drop onto the record turntable and watch the stylus uh, the playing arm drop onto the record and then hear the noise. CDs are just, they're not anything these days, you know. They're not compact enough for kids who just want everything on a phone and they're not nice enough to display on your wall. Tile side to it, so it's, you know, you actually feel the, the whole thing and it, it, it's hard to describe yeah. it. <laughs> when we were mainly selling new music rather than old vintage music or retro music, Obviously, new music releases come out at a million an hour, you know, so you have to have your eye on the ball all the time. It's one of those strange areas where normally the big boys look after this area of retailing, i.e., HMV or any kind of what they call an FMCG good, which is a fast moving consumer goods. They've got the cash, they've got the power, the marketing power, everything else. So to actually do that on a very small scale as an independent record shop is a very, very time-consuming, labour-intensive, cash-intensive occupation, you know. And I've always realised that uh, my future is to, you know, make a half-decent living. And so, whereas this is a fabulous passion, uh, it is, when it works, also a great way of making a living. <laughs>